today I am getting ready to go fly fishing, which I do almost every day here. But here, look at this. In this little section, which to me is the premier section of this park, yeah, we are it. <laughs> this is an, just an incredible New Mexico day today. It's the Sunday after Thanksgiving and little wind, it's probably in the 40s, but when there's no wind and that sun shines with that beautiful New Mexico sky, it's like, wow. So comfortable. I don't, I don't quite know how else to describe it other than it's, uh, it's like, I don't know, my own little paradise somehow here. And I know that, ooh, that focus is crazy. I know that, I don't know if you can see the mountains. I'll have a better shot from a still, but you know, I know that this isn't most people's idea of paradise. Uh, and that's why <laughs> we are the only ones here. Everybody else is where it's super warm or they're at the beach or something like that. Which way do I want to get here? So I'm getting ready to go fishing today. And uh, I've got something with me that... I don't know if you can see that. I've got a cigar. <laughs> One of these little tiny Swisher Sweet things. Um, and I haven't smoked tobacco in years and uh, but there's a reason there's a method to my madness today and i'll show you what's going on but in the meantime this is just an incredibly beautiful day uh, it's 37 degrees and I'm in my flip-flops, <laughs> you know, it's a Wisconsin thing. There's no snow on the ground, so why do you need shoes, right? Anyway, I put socks on when I put my, when I put my waders on. That water does get pretty cold on your feet after a while. But it's an incredibly beautiful day, and I totally appreciate nature and being out in it and what it you know just just being able to enjoy this is is uh just, you know another example of why i'm i'm so damn lucky man and uh hey i i i know it and i do appreciate it and that is where this comes in i'll show you in a couple seconds so i got my boots out of the car <laughs> Damn, things are frozen solid, man. Uh, I hate that. It's a pain in the ass to put them on. They're, they kind of hurt, you know. And then, it, you know, your feet get cold because you're warming your damn boots up. And, uh, you know, by the time I walk away, it'll be fine. But uh, had I thought about it, I would have brought them in and warmed them up. i got to replace the laces anyway. That's a pretty good example of it right there. But anyway, I harvested some of these sprigs of sage and the indigenous peoples use sage as uh, a means to uh, ward off evil spirits inside the house. Um, I think there were some medicinal properties probably as well that they used it for. So the one thing that they always did they would make an offering to Mother Earth uh, when they would use plants like that. And uh, one of the things that they offered was tobacco. So, even though 
I am not superstitious in the least. Um, you know, I, I don't believe in the supernatural. <laughs> you know, black cats don't bother me. I'll use the phraseology, knock on wood, you know, stuff like that. But it isn't that I really believe <laughs> that it makes any difference. However, um, I think in terms of being in the Southwest and, uh, and uh, you know, in somebody else's culture, uh, I am going to honor uh, their ways and make a tobacco offering in exchange for the sage that I harvested. So that is why I had the little cigar that I bought. First tobacco I bought in years. I was going to get Bull Durham, but they didn't have it. And I'm not sure that's even a product anymore. But back when I was young and a smoker, um, actually I smoked for a long time, um, I used to roll my own using Bull Durham because it was dirt cheap. You could get a pack of papers and a little bag of tobacco for I think it was 10 cents or some ridiculously cheap amount and it was really good really good cigarettes uh, you can contrast that with today's cigarettes if you quit smoking your Bull Durham self-rolled cigarette it would go out as opposed to what happens with a modern cigarette but anyway uh, here goes the offering uh, to Mother Earth for sharing her sage with me. I'm just going to kind of grind this up. I see I got a little piece of the foil in there, which I'll make sure it doesn't get spread around. But we'll push this out in about. Let me get that foil out of there. There we go. A little something back to Mother Earth. I got two. <laughs> I thought it felt kind of funny. Oh, one of them got off, I think. No? Oh boy, how do we get these both in there? Well, now you know why the San Juan is so popular. Two at once. Doesn't happen very often. Two at once. Now oh, that's fishing efficiency there.